Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited to play with Natasha Denona today, okay? All right, so if you already watched my video where I got my Beautylish unboxing, um, you already know that I got this in there. And I am I was very excited, but I also mentioned that I have tried something from Natasha Denona before and it wasn't necessarily to my liking. And while I was watching this palette, I have to say it feels much about a buttery and much um, softer formula than what it was in her mini star palette but I'm very excited to try it today and see what a look I can come up with how it actually looks on my skin if it's actually um, as beautiful and universal and um, suitable for every skin tone as it being described to be honest with you, when I was swatching this, I was thinking, hmm, this looks a little more, it looks a little lighter than what actually appears in the uh, palette because of this gold, bronzy, and dark, dark thing over here. They may make them look a little bit more richer than the, what they are. So... We'll see how it's gonna go, but I am uh, I'm really thrilled to try this and see how it is like I Cannot believe not even now. I cannot believe that we got this palette in uh, in Beautylish lucky bag and I know there was some people that received the love palette So that's amazing. I and I'm I'm excited to try it. So let's go right in it. I already set my eyes and everything i'm ready to go so i'm gonna go with this color right here that is called beach and i'm just gonna put this one right here in uh, my uh crease just a little bit above my crease So, so far it's blending nicely. I do like the color, but it definitely looks a little bit darker. I would say this one looks just a tiny bit darker on my eyelid than what it actually looks in here, okay? So, keep that in mind. Now, I want to say um, a big thank you to all of you that uh, went and watched the video that I posted the other day with Natasha with um, the Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. I I am surprised to see uh, how many views that uh, video brought in and how much love uh, I received on that video. Bunch of likes and a bunch of comments, and I really really appreciated you guys i just really wanted to say thank you that was absolutely amazing you have no idea how good that made me feel um it's it's a struggle to have a youtube channel and it's a struggle to start your youtube channel and trying to um come up with ideas of what you should put into your uh, into your channel but also when you're trying to make reviews because all the PR that is out there, a lot of people put their uh, videos like two or three weeks before before you do. So it's very hard when there's a new, uh, when there is something new to review to be able to get the views that you hope for because people, by the time you post your video, it's already, old news because people already posted uh, millions of uh, videos about that particular uh, new release and um, you know it's just it's kind of like it's it's a way gone so sometimes it's very difficult to find some good ideas of like showcasing your skill showcasing your um, your YouTube channel so I'm really appreciative about that and I really, really 
love what you did guys and thank you thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart thank you so much okay so next in here i want to go in with um i'm thinking why don't we go with this uh should we go with suntan by the way i want to use this wine gas um brush which is zero six so i'm gonna take this um, suntan just a little bit and just kind of put that more into my crease but without going above holy wow this brush you guys look at that look how beautiful wow this it's so beautiful i wish i had more i wish i could purchase his um brushes but man they're so expensive so so expensive i mean i understand they're really high quality but they're so expensive i don't know if i can actually purchase I don't know if I can make such a big purchase, invest so much into brushes, but maybe, maybe I should. Let me know, guys, if you are interested in something like that. Okay, wow. That looks so gorgeous and so yummy, and it's all because of this brush. Maybe I should try this brush with one of those really bad uh, eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection and see if this brush can help me love them. <laughs> that would be something. All right, so next I'm gonna go with Magma. And I'm gonna take this one right in this corner right here. And just gonna add it a little bit just to darken this area up. But not too much. Now here's the thing. I don't know how well this is gonna work on deeper skin tones. Like for me, yeah, it does show up here and there, but I don't know. Because this was it was in a box that was for deep to dark skin. I don't know. One you that got it, can you please tell me? If you have a deeper skin tone, does this work for you well? Because I think some of these eyeshadows are not gonna work that great. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with, let me clean this a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with Ridge right here and I'm gonna apply this in this inner portion of my eyelid so that I really like how it looks right now I'm gonna add just a little bit more to be honest with you so far I mean it's a nice palette it, it blends nicely it looks okay but it doesn't doesn't make me be like, oh my god, this is the most amazing eyeshadow palette I've ever tried. It doesn't. Not not yet, but we'll see. Maybe by the time I'm finished, I'm done with this makeup look, I'm gonna get that feeling. But so far, it's like, hmm, yeah, it's an okay palette. All right, and now. Why don't we go with, should we go with something simple or should we go with something crazy? I don't know, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the sun down over here and uh, I'm gonna throw this in here, right here, above my crease. Because I feel like it needs a little bit of color over there. Mm, yeah, I think that's.
that's good. But this brush, I'm telling you, this brush is amazing. Maybe I should get some more. Alright, so I like how that looks over there. I'm gonna take this magma over here and put that right under the eyes. Oh my god, I'm gonna use this brush every day. <laughs> this brush is so good. And I think I'm just gonna add, uh, let's do suntan, I think. Yeah, let's do suntan on top of that as well. And we pretty much used all the matte shades in this palette. Now let's see, what should we do for our eyelids? Do I, should I put something sparkly, but which one? I feel like with this eye look, I could either go with this uh, high degree right here that is a very beautiful, kind of deeper red, you know what I mean? Or maybe should I go with Bliss, which has more of a pinkish undertone? But I think I'm gonna go with high degree. So I'm gonna take it with my finger there you go, and I'm just gonna add it right here in the middle. And I do like how that looks, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, I don't wanna add too much because. I want to keep it a very natural but very rich beautiful brown look you know what I mean I want that richness but everyday type of look I don't want something like it looks like I'm going to a party this is for an everyday look it's more like a that beautiful chocolatey smoky eye look for daytime that's what I'm trying to go for Right, so that's that now I'm thinking I want to go with something in my inner corner and let's go with this alloy and the same thing I'm trying to be very delicate with this I don't want to add too much All right, so I'm gonna take the this side of this brush and just kind of go under my eye to clean up and make sure it looks all nice and beautiful and blended. Oh, that looks so pretty. Now I'm thinking, um, I don't know if I really want to go with an eyeliner, but I might just go a little bit. I'm gonna go with what I currently have in uh, my project pen right now. So this is the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eye. I love this liner because the brush is so thin and I can do a very, very thin liner. And that's what I'm going for today.
All right, there you go. Very soft liner. I do not want to put too much darkness around my eyes, but I am going to go with this uh, Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. All right, and this is how it looks like. This is the final look. This is how everything turned out to be looking. Do I like this palette? I do like it. I feel like it's really beautiful. It has some rich color in there. Not as dark as I thought they uh, are going to look at the first sight when I saw this palette but it looks really beautiful i do love it i do like the blendability and all that now do i think this deserves its price nah, i don't know i don't know you let me know if you think it does but in my opinion i think you can find something as good for a lower price um i don't like i said before i don't think natasha denona is necessarily that brand that kind of wows me or makes me lose my shit when she's um when she's releasing something or when i try her product so i don't know it's not it's not necessarily my brand i i always compare her with pat mcgrath and i feel like pat mcgrath is always a step up than this it's much much better um but it looks nice it's a it's a very natural palette I'm not necessarily that type of person I'm somewhere in the middle I like color but also I like some neutrals so it's a nice palette I'm definitely gonna use it I like it but I'm not losing my head over it so this is it for today thank you so much for being here Thank you so much for the love uh, and support offered. And um, I will come up with more and more beautiful looks and beautiful ideas to put on this channel. So please, please stay subscribed and uh, continue to support me. Thank you so much for everything and I will see you all next time.